Well, DJ, welcome, new passing game coordinator. Welcome back to LSU since you are, were already a national champion in 2019. So how does it feel to be back but an on-the-field coaching position? It's awesome. I'm, I'm fired up, beyond fired up. To be a part of that team and that offense was obviously something special. Um, and, and to be back a part of this program, beyond exciting, man. I'm, I'm fired up for the opportunity and I'm fired up to get to work with those guys. So after that magical season in 2019, you spent the last year with the Carolina Panthers. Mm -hmm. So how much did the NFL grow your coaching knowledge being back around Joe Brady, but then being introduced with Jake Peets and the rest of the organization? Right, yeah, I, I think just being able to compete at the highest level is obviously something that's gonna make anybody better. So it's made me more comfortable as a coach, more confident as a coach and more confident in in that offense, which obviously going 15 and 0 and being arguably the greatest offense of all time, um, you know, should build some confidence too. So just knowing that that system work can work not just at the college level but the NFL is um, was pretty cool to see. So the talent on the 2019 team might not ever be exactly replicated, but Coach O believes the offensive scheme can. So when you right. think about that 2019 team, what are the key components of that scheme that you're so, going to work with? I, I always go back to it. I'm not going to deny the fact of all the draft picks that we had and the talent that was on that team, but I believe the 2018 team had no all SEC selections returning on offense. You know, I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure of that it's not like we had any grad transfer starters. So that team, and if you look at that 2018 offense compared to the 2020 offense, there's some similar numbers there. So it's not like everyone knew we had uh, all this crazy talent until we put them in this offense. Uh, and I, that's what I look forward to with this, the talent that we have right now. You know, putting them in position. You're just maximizing the talent yet, that you have. At LSU, you're always going to have talent. When you put them in this offense, in this scheme, you're able to maximize that talent. And I think that's what you saw in 2019, and you really saw what the players were capable of. Joe Brady was in the same position two years ago, but now what do you think are the main responsibilities of you in this passing game coordinator role? It's communication between him and I, it's communication to the rest of the staff, and it's communication to the players. We're going to be detail-oriented, um, but it's a matter of communicating those details and coming in every day with the same attitude, being the same person to, to the players, the staff, and everyone else that's involved. And uh, I think you do that and you take one day at a time, you'll, you'll see the results. So Jake spoke very highly of you and said that you were a very important role of him coming down here to LSU is having you with him. So how would you sum up his, the Jake Peets offense? He's been around a lot of football. He's been around a lot of different football. Um, and he's obviously, like I said, um, was introduced to, uh, and he's, you know, it's not like our concepts are concepts that hadn't been seen before, but for him to be a part of that last year and to adapt as much and as well as he did in Carolina, I, I, I know that'll be a, a huge piece to, to who we'll be here, but it, I'm sure as he mentioned to you, we're gonna cater it to the players that we have as well. So. Congratulations on your new role and welcome back to LSU. Same to you and thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it.